happy halloween guys in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to put together this cruella inspired african print winter jacket it has so many names but you know just bear with me you see i did an entire photo shoot on it it was amazing i'm continuing this video from last week so if you haven't watched last sunday's video please go back and check it out then you understand where we are coming from and where we are going to okay so now i'm arranging all my pattern pieces together this is the upper part of the body and i'm going to just sew this i'm going to show you what i sewed together i just sewed the curves together like so and just to create that fullness in the bust i'm going to put a ball on there to show you what it looks like for the bust area and i did that for both the right and the left side of the fabric so this is what i just stitched it together at the curves with 0.5 inches seam allowance and here we go i did it for the lining as well i did it for the other side of it and we have the upper part the front upper part of our garment okay so now i'm going to show you the back also so i also sewed together the back of the dress and i just sewed in the middle both the lining and the fabric together with 0.5 inches seam allowance so i switched the back up a little bit um, so that you know to just give it a little nice twist again to the jacket that i'm making and the next thing is to sew the shoulders together with 0.5 inches seam allowance and sew the sides together with about 0.75 to 1 inches seam allowance and after doing that the next thing is i'm just showing you what i've done i've stitched everything together you see that the upper part is already looking like a jacket like a mini jacket already like we're already making progress real progress if you are with me or at this stage just say uh -huh, uh -huh in the comment section so i know that you're here all right after sewing everything together you see it and the middle part also for my overlap um, buckles and everything is looking nice and neat now i'm going to the skirt part of my jacket that is the flowy circle skirt part of it okay all i have to do is to sew together the lining to the main fabric so we cut the lining and the main fabric last week and now i'm just showing you how i'm just sewing everything together but i'm leaving the upper part of the skirt open because that's how you're going to turn it inside out after sewing the sides and bottom then i'm going to line the satin part with the thick uh, paper stay that i showed you last week after i lined it i lined the the satin with the paper stay like it was a lining and not an interface i would advise you not to do that i would advise you to iron it first before lining it with another fabric entirely but i was trying to save time and save cost and save everything so i lined my satin with the stay itself okay then after lining it i'm just going to iron it on now so after ironing it on my small table for a while i was like no this is not going to work so i moved it from my small table to the floor and i spread it out a little bit to be able to iron it out so you see that the stay is sticking to the satin the reason why i'm using the stay is so that the satin will have a little bit more volume and it'll have a little more stiffness okay so now i moved it to the floor so i can iron it a little bit better even though it had a lot of ripples we, we still we still give all glory to god that it came out <laughs> it came out good okay so the next thing now is to join the skirt to the upper part you see we are making great progress and it's not as difficult as you think or you thought it was even though you know it has a little bit corner corner but it's fine it's fine it's fine take out my dear now the next thing is to just sew the lower part the skirt part to the upper part and i left the 0.5 inches seam allowance that tiny allowance there there's a reason why we left it so now i'm going to just sew the skirt to the upper part to half of my waist remember it overlaps at the back because it is half uh, satin half black fabric at the back so i'm sewing it all the way to the middle of the back or maybe like one inches after the middle of the back because it's supposed to overlap at the back so both the two fabrics at the back will overlap by about one to two inches you know overlap okay so i have sewn that part and now i'm going to take my suede fabric also and then sew it from the other end because i want to make sure i sew it from the other end to where the overlap starts and not start from the overlap and then have too much excess at the other side so i'm starting from the other end of the fabric as well and i'm going to sew it to the point where the two fabrics overlap like you are seeing me do and i'm using just 0.5 inches seam allowance for all these sewings 
so you don't need to do more than 0.5 inches so i'm just sewing it all the way down to where the overlap is and at this point i have finished sewing it okay so you can see the nice overlap at the back you see that overlap that is what we are going for so far so good we are making great progress okay so the next thing that we want to do now after i finish showing off my overlap the next thing that i want to do now is to cover up all that jaga jaga in the middle you know the way the middle is very rough now we're going to cover it up with the lining that we made that is the exact replica of the upper part okay so it's, it's like we're sandwiching the skirt between the two upper parts like between the two um upper body of the dress if you get what i mean if you don't get what i mean always ask me in the comment section you know me i'm always ready to explain to you what i mean but we're start covering the the stitching the rough edges we are covering it with the upper part of our lining and when i finish showing i'm going to show you what it looks like Alright, so after stitching it, this is what it looks like. Let me open it up a little bit more. So you see that that part, the rough part, has been covered with our upper lining. So that part that is jagged, jagged is because I did not line it and I used my stay directly on it. But I'm going to fix it later on and you're going to see what that looks like. But continuing, continuing on, you remember the 0.5 inches that we left, that we just left outside. Now we are going to use that part to stitch the front of our of our jacket the overlapping part of our jacket so that 0.5 inches is what we are going to use to stitch it to make that front part also neat so now after sewing it i'm going to show you also what it looks like and then this is what it looks like do you see that so that part is also covered and it's smooth and it rhymes with the skirt of it so this is the overlap part and it rhymes and it's with the skirt and then you repeat that for the other side and this is what it looks like so far so good i did thank god for the place where i did today ah, ah. <laughs> look at the skirt it looks so good and look at the inside it's neat i fixed that patch patch part with more stay and it doesn't even look obvious that there was any patch patch there or does it people with um, spiritual eyes my seizure but it looks very fine and very good now we are moving on to the sleeves part progress progress my people i remember the sleeves part now we just need to sew the sleeves together i use like 0.75 to 1 inch seam allowance to sew the sleeves together i'm sewing all the sleeves i created sleeves for the lining part too because we want this jacket to be very very neat okay so i created sleeves for all the parts of the jacket both the lining and the main you know outer layer so now i'm turning out all my sleeves together and now i'm going to show you how to attach the sleeve to the dress okay so the way we i cut the sleeve is such that the pattern for the front part is different from the from the back of the sleeve if you've watched my sleeve uh, tutorial you will understand what i'm saying i'm going to add it also in the, in the card or the descriptions so you see that the front part of my sleeve is to be attached to the front part of my dress and the back part of this the of the sleeve pattern is to attach to the back of the dress so what i'm going to do now is to take the seam the joining at the armpit area and put the seam of the sleeve also in that part, part and make sure that they align together then i'm going to take a pin and pin both of those together and then i'm going to sew it inside it's like i'm sewing the sleeve inside the circle of the armhole and now i'm just going to sew 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 and show you what it looks like after showing it so after showing it this is what the outside of the dress looks like when i turn it as you see the sleeve is very nice the seams are aligning just like we wanted it to align and everything is looking sharp and beautiful now i'm going to repeat the same process for every other part of the dress so for that side i've done it 
for the other armhole for the armhole of my lining the two armhole of my linings i'm going to fix all the fabric oh sorry all the sleeves in it and this is the end product i've fixed all the sleeves on the different parts of the dress so it's like i'm making a dress with my lining and i'm making a dress with the main fabric because i want it to be neat like this it's like you bought a ready-made jacket like you bought a jacket that was made you know by let's say gucci or you know by you know those big big nice nice jacket those big big places where you buy jacket from and the inside is all neat and well lined and insulated and you know you are feeling like matrix or you know something like that like you know, trinity in matrix that's the name of the game right trinity trinity in matrix now okay so after doing that we want to now make the rough edges of our wrist clean as well because that is what we are going for we want this jacket to be a clean looking jacket we don't want it to look like we just got it from a from an online store so now i'm pulling out the two um, sleeves together and of course i'm going to align the seams as usual so i take the seam of the main fabric and i align it with the seam of my lining like that and i'm also going to pin them together like you see me do and then i'm going to sew around that part so i'm just going to sew it around that part you see the way i'm putting them together right that is exactly where i'm going to sew so when i bring it back inside out it's going to be a very nice cuff very neat cuff okay so i'm taking it to the sewing machine now and i'm going to sew 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 after sewing it this is what i have i've sewn them together like you see this i'm showing you how i stitch them together just in case you missed the first part and now i'm going to turn it inside out okay now let's drag it inside and let's see how neat our jacket sleeves are do you see it very neat that is the end product we are looking for we want our jacket to look as sophisticated and as fine as neat as possible and now i'm going to repeat this for the other side as well and this is what we have so far also do you see me i'm feeling like trinity as the cruella jacket you say what i say cruella you say fashion i say african you say cruella africa cruella africa. all right so let's you know let's just get into me yo too much thinking too much on seriousness but you see the way the jacket is looking all set now the next step what's going to be the next step tell me yes is the hoodie we are going to move on to fixing the hoodie now okay bisola is enough go go back go back it's enough i'm dancing okay. all right so now to fix the hoodie the like the last main part of this jacket what i'm going to do is to make sure that i snip the part that my neckline stops okay you know that the way we cut the hoodie, we started from the neckline before we, we moved to the main hoodie itself. So I'm going to snip that part where the neckline actually starts so that I can start my sewing from that point. Please don't go and sew your neckline together. Don't start from the bottom of your hoodie. You have to start from where the neckline stops. So you sew the hoodie itself. Now, after sewing the hoodie together, like you are seeing me, I'm going to show you where my neckline is so that you know what i'm talking about okay so i sewed the hoodie together and this is what the hoodie looks like come on show us the hoodie and you see that bottom that is open that is exactly where the neck where you are going to join to the neckline of your clothes now i'm going to join my two hoodies together like i'm going to line the satin with the black and line the black with the satin so from the bottom now from the other side of the bottom not from the opening no from the other side of the bottom i'm going to join my two hoodies together and i finished joining it and we have our lined hoodies or our lined hoodie i don't even know the plural of it our line hoodie this point i think i put too much allowance in that bottom while i was cutting the pattern i put too too much allowance in the bottom and i'm proud i'm going to cut it off i'm going to cut it off because it's too much allowance okay so you see our hoodie now looking all fine and very big just like we wanted it to be we wanted it to be so big yeah so now you see that part that i said that i put too much allowance we're going to cut it off but not right now i'm still going to cut it off so now what you're going to do is to align your hoodie with 
from the middle of your hoodie, you're going to align it to the middle of your upper part. That is the middle to the middle. And then you're going to sew that neckline all around it. So the middle of your hoodie to the middle of your dress at the back. You know there is a middle line at the back. That is where you're going to join your hoodie middle to your, fab your dress middle. Now, like I said, I put too much seam allowance in that part. So I'm going to just trace it out to give it a nice V. The way it's supposed to look like gong gong. But I put too much allowance and then I add extra, um, extra, extra fabric there that I was not supposed to add. So I'm aligning the middle of my hoodie to the middle of the back of my uh, of my dress. And I pin both of them together. And I'm going to just pin the other side also together. And then I'm going to sew that part all the way from the top to the bottom. Okay, so let's do that now. Now, if you noticed, I only sewed one of the hoodies to the to the dress. The other side is what we're going to use to line the hoodie, so we can have that perfect clean inside like we wanted okay so i just used the satin part alone and now we're going to then look at what i'm doing i'm going to turn it like this and then i'm going to sew that part together let me show you again so like it doesn't look like a thin trick so i'm going to take the edge of the fabric where the two hoodies like align with the uh where i stopped sewing the hoodie and then I'm going to turn it with the neckline of the satin like that and then I'm going to sew. I'm going to sew as much as the fabric will allow me to sew. Because you know you always need an opening to turn out your sewings. Like if you've noticed from my, from my uh, previous videos, anytime I sew there's always an opening. 2 inches, whatever, whatever inches. So we still need an opening no matter what we're going to turn out our sewing. And that is why I'm going to sew this as much as the fabric will allow me to not allow me to sew it all the way to the end because I need to see an opening to turn it back inside out. So you see the half of the hoodie. Do you see how the half of the hoodie looks like very neat? And we want to try to do that again for the other side as well. So I'm also going to turn it at that other side. I'm going to turn it in and I'm going to sew because this is how we want it to be neat. Like that's the neatness. That we are going for at this point i don't even know the english that i'm speaking but just bear with me and watch what i am doing maybe don't even listen to what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing okay so after sewing that part the other part as much as my fabric will allow me to sew just you know just keep pushing and pushing and pushing it will allow you to sew everything to the end you cannot sew everything there will always be that space in the middle that you have to use to turn your fabric inside out so so far so good I have sewn as much as I can with the hoodie, but you see that tiny space, I cannot sew that part with my machine, so I'm going to use needle and thread to sew that part. If you have not watched my how to make a corset video, this is time for you to watch it because I showed how to do blind stitching with your needle and thread, so it doesn't look obvious that you did not use your sewing machine to sew it. Now you see the hoodie, right? I use needle and thread, but you cannot tell which part I use needle and thread for and which part I used the sewing machine for. Like I said, go and watch that corset making video. You see, I'm just giving you tips. Tips new. It's not as if I'm saying you should go and watch. Mm. But let's move on to the next thing. The next thing now is to put the buckles. This is the final phase and I'm so happy at this point. I'm so excited. Very, very excited. Now, I opened up the buckles and then I marked on my fabric where I want the buckles to stay on or where I want it to be. And then I'm going to just put my buckle on the front part. I'm starting with the black part first. I'm going to put it like that and I'm going to stitch it all around it. And I'm going to repeat that for three more buckles because I put four buckles in the front. If you notice from the picture, I put four buckles because these buckles are smaller than the buckles that um, Disney used. Disney used three buckles, but those buckles were big. But these ones are smaller because I couldn't get the exact 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 buckles so now i'm using four small buckles instead of three big buckles so i'm i've finished sewing all around it like that and i'm going to repeat it for the next three buckles
now the next stage is this i have put the buckles on one side but i have to make sure they align on the other side so that i know exactly where to sew and i don't make any mistake with the sewing so i'm marking where the buckle is supposed to be on the other side if i overlap my front so i'm overlapping my front first and then i'm marking with the pencil just where the buckle should be just a tiny i'm just putting a tiny dot and i'm doing all the way down now i have finished sewing everything that i need to sew i have my cruella wig i have my jacket i have the wood looking all pink i even have that stick it's time for the photo shoot see me blessing your eyes with all the pictures that i took so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it give it a thumbs up like share it subscribe see you next week bye